But Zofia, my dog, is right next to me, and she is going to bark at every single animal in this game, because that's what she does. She's a cute little puppy that barks at every single animal she sees. So, new game. So, <laughs> we're getting into this game. We gotta... Oh! Her whole bed fell off. She's she's distraught. She's so distraught because she can't stop stepping in the wrong places. So right here, baby. So right now we're naked. And uh, someone's calling me. But currently I'm naked, so I can't answer. Oh shit. There we go. Sorry, Mr. Call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. We're not gonna do that. Just enough time to clean up. Yep, we're gonna go clean up. So, we're gonna use the left stick to move around, X to interact with objects, and that thing to press the, the menu. Insurance fraud, stolen cars, and strange lovers should probably bend some of these old case files. Yeah, probably should. Um, okay. So something's gonna happen on October 12th, and I'm excited. I don't want to read all that. Okay, now we're gonna inspect my desk. Oh my god, let's get that shit right up. So we picked up our dishes, and now we're gonna go to the... over here, and this seems to be our kitchen. Oh, look out the window. Leaving photo developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning or a great soup. So basically, I'm going to pour some photo developer into my soup. Ah, good soup. Got to hit up Frankie to fix it when I have cash. Okay, well, I already know what I need to do, and I forgot to do it completely. So... We're gonna put our dishes there. Might wash those later, probably won't. Knowing me. Photochemicals. Everything's in its right place. Let's go. Hi, Mrs. Reed. Okay, what's our dad's voice? Excuse me. No. No. How about, excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Loader. We spoke on the phone. At your service, Mrs. Green. How's your day going? See, we're talking to her like we know something's up already because she's a slut. Oh, um, truth be told, my back's killing me. Pregnancy puts pressure on the spine, and please, oh, that is fine. You got it. How can I help you today? I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. He's a cheetah, ain't he? I think so, but I'd need real proof, right, to go to the court. Court? Are you filing for a divorce, Odette? That's right, and above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. You think your husband even wants those damn kids? If they look like you, I wouldn't want them. And if they were as nosy as you, I sure wouldn't want them either. God. I can't take any chances. Okay, well, you shouldn't have taken chances to begin with. You fucked him, and now you're in trouble. So. I don't get it. I swear, people in this game, like, are you an otter? I'm a raccoon. I'm gonna say that she's an otter. Otters are fucking known for being aggressive what what are you barking at otters are known for being aggressive and they're known for murder and bestiality and 
fucking necrophilia. Like, what do you expect? Uh, like, cheating is nothing. Cheating's nothing compared to what otters usually are doing. So I would say that these otters are pretty civil people and you should be thanking your husband for not killing you and then fucking you. So. Anyways, I can't take any chances anymore. When did you realize he might be unfaithful? He was always a private kind of man. Now he started going home late, missing work, and smelling funny. It's probably the smell of failure. Maybe he's just depressed. Ever think he doesn't want to talk to you? Okay. Yeah, has he been aggressive? He's an... He's a fucking otter. Obviously he's been aggressive. Oda, please just fucking talk to me, please. I don't see how this would be helpful. Well, it might be helpful so that I know I won't get murdered by him. It's not your business. Okay, well, when I find him fucking killing somebody, I'll let you know. Usually at work or at home, he never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. I don't blame him. If I was strapped down to someone like you, I would be hanging out with my friends, my new girlfriend, my... The rest of my extended family, your family, before hanging out with you. Be brave, baby. Okay, what does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. Show me the photo, ma'am. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band. As far as I know... Oh! And he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Okay, well, I didn't ask that much. I just asked what he looks like. And... Okay, well, let's just look out for the briefcase. Probably not wearing his wedding band if he's cheating on you. So... There you go. Dead girl. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Okay, so we already know... Thank you, that's a lot better. That's what he's wearing today. So he's wearing a green tie and a hat today. What's his full name? Any aliases? Jeremy! Is this some sort of joke that your whole family's name is green and that you're fucking wearing green? Okay, well, they call him Jez. I feel bad for him. Why would they call him Jez? That should be enough. There's just the matter of my fee. I can give you 100 now and 50 when you bring me the photos. Well, will that suffice? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses. It's not just my life riding on this. Your life ain't riding on shit. You saying that he's your life but have all these negative things to say about him? I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? Okay, well... I'm a raccoon, so I'm pretty good at sneaking around. And now it's in a different language! Oh my god. How did that just happen? Okay. It's a matter of trust. Do you trust me? No, but I have no choice. My life is on the line. Your life is not on the line! It's my life! Why do I have to do all this shit? Why do I have to go to Granville? I don't see the prevalence in this. Okay. Wow. Grape. Here I go. I'm a badass. Back. Boner. What an intro! Okay. Granville. Here we are in Granville City where the dress is green and the girls are pretty. Yo, old man. What do I look like? I'm a raccoon. I'm not a man. Should I say, how's it going, fella? Just hanging. What's up with you? Um, I'm tra trafficking someone. could say I'm hanging to. From my hanging to yours. Peace, bro. So I do know that in this game, people get mad if you ask them about the people in the photo too quickly. They'll literally fucking yell at you and it's annoying. 
Hey, if it ain't Mr. Howie, what a rascal like you up to on a fine evening like this. I don't know what I'm trying to even talk like. I'm not good with accents, voices, or playing video games. Hey, Anatoly, I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? My beaver! Hard R, damn. How are Estrella and the kid? I got business here in Granville. See you later, Anatoly. I'll save my beaver. They have another kid. Thanks, he's a big one, too. Essie is round as a watermelon. Anyway, the story, I tell her, ha, woman, you got any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. You know, that's funny because I say the same thing to my roommate. I'll say, huh, funny. And so, ha ha, she just turns to me with the eyes of a killer and says, give me the bread, honey. Oh boy, women, man, what? is this guy talking about? I presume this guy is my best friend? I think this guy's supposed to be my best friend. Women! <laughs> Women, mysterious creatures, they love bread. No, they don't. So we break the news to our boy Victor. Son, you're gonna have a bro soon. And he's like, oh no, a bro? What is it? There I asked what you told him. Mm-hmm. This is great. I have to... I'll say that. So I tell him. Mama and Papa were tired, so the apes let us have another baby. Baby boy, just like you. Should I just keep talking to him? Is there a catch? You and mom are going to have to look after him because two babies means zero daddies. <laughs> because daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. Oh my god. So that is too accurate. Well, that got depressing fast. You okay? I got a missing person on me. His wife is pregnant too. Now would you let me speak? I'll manage. I'll manage. Now what did you say you were doing here? I'm looking for a dice picture. You see him ever? Yeah, I seen him. Barrel of laughs kind of guy. Smell really bad. Okay, well, why is it? Everyone say that this guy stinks. Maybe he just needs a shower. Maybe he's not cheating on anyone. He's probably not sweating anything. He's probably just needing a shower from all these stand-up nights he's having, apparently. Nah, he was too wasted to talk most of the time. His smell did enough talking for both of us. How can someone smell that bad that you have to say that they're awful, awful stuff? Poopy kind of smell. Well, we are animals that shower for some reason. Can you tell me what kind of mysterious behavior this man's having? Because it doesn't sound like it's barely any different than what is bizarre about us. Any idea where he'd be now? Guess the bite is as good as guess is any. It's a goopy place though, eh? Thanks, Anatoly. You're a detective's best friend. My regards to Estrella. Take care, my man. Bye. What a nice guy. Eden Simmons is the hottest new jazz star. See her tonight only at the bite. Okay, we'll see about that. Banker says, Yeah! And I say, How are you doing this pleasant evening? And they say, Why do you care? And I said, Is Jez around? And he says, And who are you? And I said, Wallace. You and me both, pal. And Derek, good luck getting it back anytime soon. Oh, he'll pay if I can find him. See him today? Of course. But the wimp ass left work early. He scared Derek's gonna split his wig, hey? Hey? What say you, boss? Home to this nagging bitch of a wife. To the gutter. Where he belongs. Only apes know. Is this. Is like. Is God ape? 
Are apes god? Did something have to work? Heard his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday until he turned into a needy leech. The bite? Could he be there now? How the fuck would I know? Now, skedaddle. Rack. They say a lot of things that I don't even know what they mean. Oh, rack like raccoon. Rack. You know what? Rack, rack, city beach. Rack, city beach. Rack, rack, city beach. No entrance for raccoons. What the fuck kind of shit is that? I need a break. This shit is too much for me right now. I'm sure we can raise something, big boy. What do you do? They want me to get a damn personal invitation signed by the great apes. Is that the president or like maybe the cabinet? I assume this is my friend Larry. I like what they do with this game where they don't tell us that they're friends, but we just assume they are from the dialogue. Same with like Anatole. Howard. Well, I'll be damned. It's been a while. Jesus, Larry! What the hell are you doing here? How you doing, old man? You're calling me old, you should look in a mirror. That is exactly what I would say. Ha, ah, ah, ha, all right, that's fair. Plus these rags, actually don't help me appearance anyway. Are you okay? Like, serious question. You look like shit. Not really. You know, now what's your deal? Have you seen any uh, uh, an otter die around here recently? What'd he do? He just messed up his marriage. <laughs> right, they do. What's he like? He's about my height. Here's a photo, yeah, just show him. Haven't seen him tiny. I mean, I'll be in the game. I hear him in the game. Oh, yeah, let me know the lead. Don't break. He's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. He said you were guys on the water. That's weird. Larry. Dude, you're giving me no fucking help. Do you have any ideas? If you can do it, I think I need. He know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. Why would he help me? I can't read all that in this voice. You typical like hype and shatter fang. Oh, get this. He started rolling out, out something that called Mucky Butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. No, they do. What do you mean? These names are fine. I would I would take that monkey butt. And it definitely looks like you've been turned it too. Who do I need to find again? Sammy.
Oh, thank goodness, it's Johnny. The fuck? Where did you get that stupid idea, stripper? <laughs> friend. Well, you need better friends. I know it's she. Okay. Well. Hey Johnny, oh you brought me my favorite customer, Striper. You can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Oh. Hi, Renee. If you don't stop right now. to see you again too. Ew, you're f fucking ugly. And listen, there's a reason why I say she's ugly, okay? You're not exactly dressed for a soiree, darling. Okay, well... My tux is at the dry cleaners, bitch. Alright, so for some reason I'm not talking here, but basically she's saying that uh, she wants to know what profession I am, and I tell her I'm a photographer. And then she tells me who she is, and she turns out to be the manager of the bite. <clears throat> and she tells me that it's very sophisticated there, and that they have amazing dinners, and their chef's special is absolutely to die for. But she prides herself on being the best course of the night, even though she kind of looks like Endive from Chowder. And I don't know what to say, cause she's kinda scary. And now she's questioning whether or not I'm worthy or... Or if I'm worthy enough to be a part of the VIP section because I'm a raccoon and I'm not able to oh my God, she's kicking me look out. fancy like they do. She doesn't think my tux is actually in the dry cleaning. I really got kicked out because of my race. <laughs> 